As you gaze into the vast expanse of the night sky, filled with countless shimmering stars, one timeless question always stirs the imagination. Are we truly alone in the universe? For centuries, this mystery has fueled the thoughts of philosophers, inspired the dreams of storytellers, and driven the tireless curiosity of scientists. Each generation has searched for answers, from building the first telescopes to sending probes into the solar system. Yet the question has always lingered, is Earth unique, or are there other worlds where life has taken root? Today, with extraordinary new tools at our disposal, we may be closer than ever to an answer. At the forefront of this search is the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Unlike any telescope before it, Webb was built to see deeper into the cosmos, capturing light that has been traveling across the universe for hundreds, thousands, even billions of years. It does more than observe the stars, it acts as a cosmic time machine, revealing chapters of history written in light. And among its many discoveries, one distant world has quickly become a focus of fascination. Its name is K218b. A planet of mystery K218b lies in the constellation Leo, roughly 120 light-years away. When first catalogued, it was nothing more than a line in a database, one of thousands of exoplanets identified by earlier missions. But under the sharp eye of JWST, it became much more. What makes K218b so unusual is its size and composition. It belongs to a class of planets called sub-Neptunes, worlds larger than Earth, yet smaller than Neptune. Such planets are common in our galaxy, but none exist in our own solar system, leaving us with little basis for comparison. These, in between, planets are unlike anything we've ever seen close up. They are not fully rocky like Earth or Mars, but not massive gas giants like Jupiter either. Instead, they occupy a unique category, making them difficult to understand and incredibly exciting to study. K218b orbits a small, faint star, a red dwarf known as K218. It circles its star from a very close distance, just 0.18 astronomical units. To put that in perspective, even Mercury, the closest planet to our Sun, orbits at nearly double that distance. And yet, K218b is not scorched. That's because red dwarfs, though prone to bursts of radiation, are much cooler and dimmer than our sun. This places K218b directly within the habitable zone, often called the Goldilocks zone, the region where conditions may be just right for liquid water to exist. The atmosphere revealed the real breakthrough came when Webb used a powerful method called transit spectroscopy. Each time K218b passes in front of its star, a fraction of starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere. JWST splits that light into its component wavelengths, much like a prism, allowing scientists to read the chemical fingerprints hidden within. From this light, an extraordinary picture began to form. JWST detected water vapor in K218b's atmosphere a tantalizing hint that conditions might support oceans or clouds. But there was more. The telescope also picked up signs of methane and carbon dioxide. These gases are common in planetary atmospheres, including Earth's, but their presence on a distant exoplanet added weight to the idea of a complex, active environment. And then came the most surprising clue, the possible detection of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, DMS is almost exclusively produced by life, specifically, by tiny marine microorganisms that live in our oceans. It contributes to cloud formation and acts as a subtle chemical signature of biology. If confirmed on K218b, it would be one of the strongest biosignatures ever identified beyond our solar system. Of course, the discovery is not yet certain. DMS is faint and difficult to detect, and more data is needed to rule out other explanations. But even the possibility has electrified the scientific community. 
K218b may not be home to forests, rivers, or civilizations. At least not in any form we recognize. But it could host the simplest kind of life. Microbial organisms, quietly thriving in alien oceans. To truly understand why K218b matters, we need to step into a new scientific idea that is transforming the way we think about habitable planets. The Hycian world. In 2021, Astrophysicist Niku Madhusudan and his team proposed this bold concept. They suggested that some exoplanets may not resemble Earth at all, yet still be capable of supporting life. Imagine worlds covered in vast global oceans, hidden beneath dense, hydrogen-rich atmospheres. These are the Hycian planets. The name itself is a blend of hydrogen and ocean. And it's a fitting description, because these planets could be up to 10 times the mass of Earth, and twice its radius. Unlike the hot, inhospitable gas giants of our solar system, Hycian worlds are thought to be very different. Beneath their thick atmospheric blankets could lie immense oceans, stretching across their entire surfaces, oceans so deep they might represent as much as 90% of the planet's total mass. This is more than speculation. Such conditions could create a delicate balance, one where liquid water, the essential ingredient for life as we know it, remains stable, even in environments where an Earth-like planet would be frozen solid. Their hydrogen-rich atmospheres trap and hold heat, acting like an insulating shield. That means a Hycian planet could stay warm and habitable at greater distances from its star, or even under cooler conditions that would render Earth uninhabitable. And this is exactly why scientists are so interested in K218b. With its intriguing mix of molecules and its placement within the habitable zone of a red dwarf star, it may very well be one of these elusive Hycian planets. The Hycian advantage, why does this matter so much? Because Hycian planets may give us an advantage in the search for life. First, their size makes them easier to detect. When a planet passes in front of its star, it blocks a fraction of the starlight. The larger the planet, the more dramatic the dip in brightness, and the easier it is for telescopes like JWST to capture and analyze the atmospheric fingerprints hidden in that light. Second, Hycian planets have wider habitable ranges. Earth-like planets must orbit within a narrow band where water remains liquid. Step too close to the star, and the water boils away. Drift too far, and it freezes. But a Hycian planet, with its insulating atmosphere and deep oceans, can remain habitable under a much broader set of conditions. Temperatures on some of these worlds could reach 200 degrees Celsius, nearly 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For us, that sounds extreme, even impossible. But here on Earth, we already know of life forms, extremophiles, that survive in equally hostile environments. Microbes thrive near hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, where scalding water erupts from the crust. Others live in acidic lakes, salty deserts, and even radioactive waste. Life, it seems, is remarkably adaptable. So, while Hycian planets may not host forests or animals, they could be home to microbial ecosystems, alien, resilient, and perfectly tuned to survive under conditions we once thought impossible. What comes next? The James Webb Space Telescope has only begun to scratch the surface. From just a handful of hours observing K218b, it has already uncovered water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and even hints of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, DMS is almost entirely produced by living organisms, particularly by microscopic marine life. If confirmed on another world, it would be one of the most compelling biosignatures ever detected beyond our solar system. But science demands patience. These early findings, exciting as they are, need confirmation. More observations, more data, and more refined models are required before we can say for certain what these molecules mean. Could DMS really point to life? Or might it have another explanation in such an unfamiliar environment? 
Future observatories will bring answers. The extremely large telescope, now under construction in Chile, will study exoplanets with unprecedented clarity. NASA's planned Habitable Worlds Observatory aims to directly image Earth-sized planets around nearby stars. Together with JWST, these tools will open a new era of discovery. And every step forward brings us closer to understanding whether life exists elsewhere in the galaxy. A turning point K218b is more than just another exoplanet. It is a turning point in the story of exploration. For the first time, we are looking beyond Earth-like worlds and realizing that habitability may take many forms. Life might not always require a planet with continents, blue skies, and shallow seas. It might exist in deep alien oceans, hidden beneath hydrogen skies. If Hycean planets are common, and current evidence suggests they may be, then the universe could be teeming with opportunities for life. Perhaps microbial, perhaps more complex, perhaps even civilizations, though that remains only speculation for now. What matters is that our definition of a habitable world has expanded. And with it, the chances of finding life have grown too. K218b reminds us of something profound. The universe is not only vast, but full of surprises. Every discovery, every signal, every hint pushes us closer to answering the oldest question of all. Are we alone? And as we continue to search, one truth becomes clear, the universe is waiting.